Hi students, so welcome back to our super quick revision series. Now these lectures are aimed to make your revision going super fast. We are on target costing. In target costing, we all have done the concepts. We all have done first few questions. More or less, all the questions do speak about the same particular thing. That is, we want to be cutting down our cost. So therefore, we can sell the product at the price that I want because the price is very important. So therefore, how to be cutting down the cost? We always say that value analysis and engineering is a way to be going forward. So question number seven, we are going to be doing exactly the same particular thing. There is some company which is manufacturing racks. Current cost is given to you. In current cost, you have been given. What should have happened? Okay. What actually happened? What was actual cost? Currently, the selling price is 750 and we produce and sell 10,000 racks per annum. In our first part, we were only asked find out the actual cost and actual profit. So therefore, we total up all these things. That comes to 61,50,000 divided by 10,000. So therefore, that was coming to 615. Subtract that from the selling price, you will arrive at your current profit. So current profit in this particular case was 135 rupees. Okay. Now 135 in this particular case was your current uh, profit. Now in part two, okay, those guys are saying what? Some competition has come. We got to be reducing our price to 675. But still, we want to be maintaining our profit. Find out the target cost. So therefore, 675 minus we still want to be having a profit of 135. So let's try to cut down our cost to 540. And then in part 3, they are asking you that please give some ideas how to be cutting down the cost. So what ideas can we be giving? Now see, there were four costs over here. Material, labor, machine setup and mechanical assembly. Machine setup in any case is supposed to be a non-value added activity. Okay. Now non-value added does not mean that we need not be doing it. It means that customer does not value. Now, this budget was also there for 10,000 units. That thing was mentioned over here. Okay, the actual and the budgeted operating levels are same. So, for 10,000, we should have consumed this much material. We consume this much. So, obviously, this actual cost was higher because of the inefficiency. So, therefore, first thing that, first idea that we all give, try to cut down the material cost. How to be doing that? 20 lakhs is a cost for 5 lakh 20. For 5 lakhs, it should not, uh, it should have been how much? So 20 lakhs minus that particular figure, that much material cost could have been less if we were efficient, divided by 10,000. So therefore, that much cost of material we all can be reducing. Exactly the same thing we all told for labor also. We should have used, workers should have used 90,000 hours. They took 1 lakh hours, yeah. so therefore, had the workers been efficient, they would have taken 90,000 hours, our cost would have been less. Okay, so therefore, 10 lakhs divided by 1 lakh hours into 90,000. So therefore, new cost would have been 9 lakh rupees. Uh, 10 lakh minus 9 lakhs, new cost would have reduced in this case, means the cost could have been reduced by 1 lakh. For 10,000 racks, that is 10 per unit. So therefore, had workers been efficient, we could have reduced our cost by rupees uh, 10 per unit. But then these ideas fail when we come to machine setup and mechanical assembly. Why? Because both these activities were done in an efficient way. So therefore, now we cannot be saying those things. Maximum for machine setup, you can try to be saying it being a non-value added activity. Customer doesn't value it. Try to be thinking that by doing something, is it possible to reduce these hours? If these hours can be reduced, better this cost can also be falling. Okay. But... Mechanical assembly is a value added activity. You are assembling the product. It is your manufacturing. This is value added. This is value added. Okay. All these things are value added. Now, all our ideas are finished. Whenever your ideas are finished, then your theory starts. Okay. How to be cutting down the cost further. So, how to cut down the cost further? Try to do value analysis and value engineering. Value analysis and value engineering, they focus on whatever is a product that you all make. Try to think how that product is made. How many parts are used? Can it be produced better? Can some alternate materials be used? Okay. Can design be simplified? Can fewer parts be used? Okay. Answer all these particular questions. Call a technical guy who can take care of the new design process also. With the help of that, can you cut down the cost more? Okay. So therefore, uh, currently our cost came as 615. Okay. That is 61,50,000 divided by 10,000. We want to be cutting down. We want to be trying to reduce our cost to 550. So therefore, we had to reduce our cost by 75. 
with the help of material we will be able to cut it down to uh, some extent for labor we will be able to cut it down to rupees 10 if we were efficient and after that we are only trying to be saying please resort to value analysis and value engineering to try to be reducing the cost further okay it's only that whenever you are going to be thinking all those things that i told you please ensure that the quality of the product is not hampered okay i gave this question a two star question because there was supposed to be another question like this okay that was immediately the next one that question i've given as three star question okay now question number seven i'm just trying to read it once okay uh current actual profit just a sec yeah so current actual profit is given as six uh current actual cost is given as 615 current selling price is 750 you subtract it current profit comes to 135 Company wants to reduce the selling price to rupees 675 to meet the competition but maintain the profit of 135. So, therefore, we have to reduce our cost to rupees 540. For that, we have to start to give some uh, ideas. We see that we have consumed extra material. So, therefore, first idea is be efficient, use material properly. Next, we start to realize workers have taken extra hours. So, therefore, in this particular case, the second idea is try to reduce the labor hours. Okay, third. Third in this particular case is that setup and mechanical assembly have been done in a proper way. Hence, those ideas will not be working. To reduce the cost further, we suggest reducing non-value added activity like setup. Okay, so that is one thing. So, this is one idea and resort to value analysis and if required, value engineering. Care should be taken to not let the quality deteriorate and also answer the following questions. Whenever you try to do your value analysis and engineering, answer this particular question. Can the product be designed better to make the production more efficient? Is the reduction of the design uh, possible? And whenever you're trying to be doing that, you can try to think of reducing the features but not functions. Okay. So like, you know, the functionality of the product should not be lost. The features can be lost. Okay. You might not have those many kind of features. Suppose if you have a printer. Okay. If you try to cut down the cost of a printer, it should not happen that printing quality falls. Yes, few of the features might not be there. Uh, example, say like, you know, fast printing, that feature you all can remove, but then don't remove the functionality of the printer. Okay. Can the design be minimized to include fewer parts and make it easier and efficient to assemble and to manufacture? Can any process be eliminated or reduced? Can like, you know, the substitute parts make it more efficient? Is there simply a better way of trying to be producing the same particular product? Okay. Now for question number seven, I had kept a question number eight, a similar question that was asked in November 2020 exams. It is almost same as the previous question, but then there is one extra thing. Okay. So whenever you're trying to think of trying to reduce like, you know, the cost, there will be some other points that will be coming. So ensure that you all pay attention to that. Try to read that in case you still don't get. In any case, you have your answers of all the examination papers, okay, that you all can try to be seeing or in any case, the homework section is there on the website also. Okay, then question number nine. Question number nine was quite a small question. Okay, how? Now, we are a toy manufacturing company. We all are going to be uh, manufacturing some kind of a uh, Disney character, say a Mickey Mouse or a Minnie Mouse or something. For that, we have to pay a royalty to do that Disneyland company also. Okay. Our selling price is going to be uh, 100. We want a profit of 25 and we will have to pay a royalty of 15. Now, this 15, you will not be able to change. It is not a cost that like, you know, it is controllable from our end. It is basically a licensing cost. Okay. So therefore 100 minus 25 minus 15, your target cost will be 60 rupees. So therefore this is supposed to be the target cost. You got to be producing the product at this much cost. This excludes the royalty. And then this was an actual cost. Okay. You add this, these four costs, plus there is material over here. Now material that we will be requiring is 0 0.6 kgs into rupees 16 per kg. 9.6 rupees will be the material cost. But then those guys have told there is 4% substandard quality. So therefore, in this particular case, uh, if you purchase 100, 96 will be good. And that 9.6 represents at 96% only. Okay, so therefore, 100% cost will be rupees 10. So therefore, apart from these four costs, there was 10 rupees of material cost. That gave me the actual cost. Okay, this is the actual cost. This is the target cost. The difference in this particular case was nothing but your cost gap that we will still have to try to address. Okay, now that was question number nine. Question number nine, I have given that particular question as a two-star question. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन एज पर मी शुड बी अ थ्री स्टार क्वेश्चन इट वॉज आस्ट इन नवंबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी एग्जाम नाउ इट इज ऑलमोस्ट सेम एज अ प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन इट इज ऑलमोस्ट सेम सो देर फॉर दैट पार्ट आई विल नॉट डिस्कस अगेन बट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट यू हैव टू ट्राई टू सेव यू ऑफ द प्राइमरी एक्टिविटीज दैट वी विल बी लर्निंग और यू ऑल हैव लर्न अंडर द वैल्यू चेन अंडर द वैल्यू चेन देर आर फाइव प्राइमरी एक्टिविटीज इन केस यू ऑल हैव नॉट रिवाइज दैट लेक्चर विल बी कमिंग आफ्टर दिस ओके बट अंडर द वैल्यू चेन यू ऑल हैव फाइव टाइप्स ऑफ प्राइमरी एक्टिविटीज विच फाइव यू हैव इनबाउंड लॉजिस्टिक्स प्रोडक्शन एंड ऑपरेशन third one you have is outbound logistics fourth one you will have marketing and sales and fifth one you have after sales service okay so therefore you have to try to mention that what are the activities of this particular company as such okay it was asked in november 2020 it's a mixed question of value chain plus target costing you can state any three primary activities the other part is same as a previous problem okay and then we started away with question number 11 this was supposed to be done for homework but it was quite easy now whenever you are going to be doing this particular question although it is supposed to be done for homework but you got to be making some particular table that currently we sell 20000 units at the rate of rupees 100 whenever we reduce the selling price by 10 the demand is double so therefore keep on making a thing like 20000 selling price is 100 Forty thousand will become ninety. Eighty thousand will become eighty. Somebody can be thinking, sir, let's continue. No, okay, no, because the max capacity is eighty thousand only. Okay, so therefore, in that particular case, we start away the things from there. Okay, and then the further part of the question is not supposed to be that tough. Okay, it is going to be quite easy. The profit margins are given to you. The selling price is there with you. So therefore, you have to try to subtract to arrive at cost. Okay. so i think so you will not be having any kind of a problem in getting it in any case i have only kept 12 minutes for solving this particular question that also tells you that question is going to be quite small please ensure that whenever you are trying to do your uh, chapters your homework section is done at that particular time only later on nobody does that during the study week please don't spend your precious time in trying to be doing the homework section it is supposed to be done when in this case your normal that is your normal lectures are going on okay That's it from my side. This is or uh, this was question number eleven. Okay, next time I'll catch you up uh, with super quick revision series again. Thank you guys. Bye.